Hey guys, Darren here with a box review of 1996 Skybox Skymotion. This was a box that I paid too much for simply because I thought it was going to be a second box along with something else. And so I ended up only getting this. So I had to pay the full shipping to get it, which what I already knew kind of what I was getting myself into. And that was not the way I wanted to do this. Uh, and that's too bad because the the nature of sky motion is first off with with the packs the packs are really cool they they design these in a wonderful way but there are only two cards in every single pack and that means that in a, a box of let's see it's uh, 18 packs there are only 36 cards in the entire box and it's a 60 card set yes 60 cards so that means that you are getting about half of the set in one box and a couple of inserts that's kind of what you're looking at which means that this is not a break the bank kind of an affair so the cards first off let's start off with the cards themselves and the cards are um, they are lenticular cards and they have a bit of, of game footage in them and the, the footage really isn't all that impressive. It's tough to read. They were pretty ambitious in what they had created. And it just, it didn't, didn't work out uh, too well. We would have much better cards with magic motion, or motion vision, excuse me, that's, uh, I should say. Um, so in this case, it was, it was a fun, interesting, quirky thing that they created that didn't read beautifully. Uh, Fortunately, there is a parallel, and I did not get any of the parallels, but um, fortunately I did not get any doubles in here. And I got some pretty good players. Now I'll look on the back to see what the players were, but it starts off kind of top heavy with Troy Aikman, Marcus Allen, Brett Favre, and uh, Eddie George. And then it gets a lot thinner going through. So, uh, Dan Marino, Barry Sanders, um, it, oh it's alphabetical, that's right, I forgot about that. Uh, Dion. And then uh, Emmett Smith, Derek Thomas, Thurman Thomas, and that should be it. Yeah, that's that's it. So I didn't get players like Elway, but still I did pretty good. I got I got all the triplets, um, got Marino, got uh, Favre, Barry. I got got a, a good return. So to me, I've gotten um, most of the cards that I care for for the set. But then I got to figure out how to get the other. Uh, it's like 27 cards I think that I need to get the set um, but the fact that it goes so quickly is kind of rough because uh, you know the boxes are neat but you open a box you got two cards and then you open another box you got two cards and before long the 18 packs are absolutely gone before you know it the cards are supposed to be cards that you want to spend a lot of time looking at but they really don't work that way the there's not a lot of motion it's not great it's not it's really tough to read there's a lot of blur in it they were not well made which is part of the reason why they only did it one time um, as a football card collector it was exciting to be able to finally tackle this I would if I had the opportunity to get another two cheap boxes I would totally do that in order to put the set together and to work on the insert sets so there are I believe there are three insert sets and I got two so there's Big Bang, where I got Shimanga Biakapatuka, and I got Ricky Dudley. And then I also got the um, uh, Team Galaxy with, um, with Karim Abdul-Jabbar. And with these, with these cards, it has basically like a, a background that's a three-dimensional background. Planets for Team Galaxy, and then for here with Big Bang, it is fireworks. And it's, it's okay. It's, it's kind of neat, but again, it has a limited amount of range. So that's, that's the, the challenge with these boxes is the fact that it's a great idea. The cards are neat in terms of one of those interesting things you run into at some point and you just kind of add it to your collection to, to really make your collection uh, a, bit more, um, a bit more interesting. But it's also a put the set together and put it away and, and largely forget about it kind of kind of set because it's not well enough built. So do keep in mind there are only 36 cards in the box. Period. That's that's all you get. So you're going to be quite limited in what you're what you get out of out of these boxes. This is definitely not a break the bank box, but. This is one of those boxes where it's really neat if you get the opportunity to do it. That's that's the the key to it. So um, so yeah, that's that's what I that's my take on this. 
Um, it was fun, I do have to say. I had fun doing it, but I also had fun in part because I understood that this was not the way I wanted to do it. And so I just sunk into, all right, well, what's it like? And that's, uh, and I also knew what I was getting into. I knew what the cards were like. The only disappointment was I did not get one of the gold cards. But other than that, yeah, it was, it was, um, it was fun to work on. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my take. Thank you guys for watching.